Hello everyone, today we're doing another unboxing, review, installation, demonstration of this smart lock here. So let's go ahead and open it up real quick. It says it's keyless code, mechanical key, automatic locking, and emergency alarm. So let's check this thing out here. There's the stuff. We're going to go ahead and uh, do an install on this. Try and demonstrate all the features of this bad boy here. <laughs> we'll be back. <gasps> okay, bye. All right, we're back everyone. So I got the old deadbolt removed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install this piece here. So I wanted to make sure you can adjust this so you can just turn it. So if your door is thicker, you can turn it, push this in. And then, so it's, you can have it for two different dimensions. I just wanted to show you that. Um, you can just turn it, push it in if you want it or pull it back out and how to go and it kind of locks in so leave and you also want to make sure that the bolt cycles good so just get like a flathead and cycle it um okay so we'll put it in here and looks like i'm going to have to do the um shorter part there for this one so we'll go ahead and do that we'll make it shorter here there you go. So that's locked in. So now it should it should fit right in there. Yep. Okay. So see how. So it's good that you can adjust that because now it fits right in there without sticking out here. So otherwise, so you can just adjust that. So that's super handy. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna take two screws and secure this. And then I just like to make sure that the door closes right here and it's not banging on anything. Just make sure there. Okay. Here's the part here. We're going to put that. So we're going to run. I think we're going to run. So you turn this. I want to say so it's vertical. And then you feed that part through. Um, get, the, get this wire through there first. And that feeds underneath. This piece, I think you want to make it vertical and then push that through. Okay, so that goes through the hole there. Can you see that? Okay. So it looks like that is all fitting there nicely. I believe that's this plate. It has a rubber thing on this one side. So I'm going to assume that this cord's going to come through here maybe. And these are going to go through here. I assume it's going to be something like this. Then secure this to this little. Looks like there's only one place you can go into this piece here. So I'm going to slide that up into there until it clicks. Okay. I'm going to push it to the unlock. Kind of feed this cord. I'm going to try and feed it up around here. Now just secure the small screws to the plate here. So go ahead and install the batteries. All right, everyone. So we're back. So I had um, a little bit of issues with um, this thing. It was uh, going the wrong way with the deadbolt. <laughs> and uh, I followed the directions carefully, everything. Um, I had to reset it. There's a password um, to do a factory reset. If you have a notebook, this might help. One, two, three. Um, so you'll push the button, hold it for like five seconds till it says like a factory reset thing. Then the password is one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, five. And then the, um, oops. Unlocked. Unlock button works cool. And then the unlock button on this, okay? So I had to do that. And then I uh, actually took a battery out, um, put it back in and I had the door closed and it, it cycled. Um, after I put the battery back in, the door cycled and found the right setting. So, um, yeah, just, just make sure when you put that, the thing through that it's vertical, um, and not horizontal and that, um, it should find the right thing. If not, try it again, try resetting it maybe and doing it. Cause the, it took me a little bit to get that. 
but now it seems to be working really well and I wanted to point out, so you have a one button, one button locking or unlocking button right here. Cool, unlock real quick. After 10 seconds, the factory setting is it'll lock, the bolt will lock by itself. So that's cool. You can change the settings actually to um, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 Locked. seconds, or 40 seconds. So that's super handy. Um, I can put in a new admin code here. And okay. So I think I need to put in an admin password. Okay, so I had a one, two, three, four, five, six password. I think I can do multiple passwords. Okay, so I can try another passcode too. So I think you just press um, this little reset button once. Sorry, little reset button on the thing there. Uh, once. Add administrator. Please enter a new password. Okay, so we'll just put in uh, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Please enter the new password again. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's that simple to add another one. Um, then I can simply, if I want to unlock it, I can come along here and go, see, three, seven, eight, nine, and unlock. There we go. Nice. Um, so that was pretty simple. Um, you can set multiple users. Um, it has keys um, if you want. So. You can um, just obviously you can key it if you want, um, unlock it if you want, you can press the lock button if you want. Um, so there's just a lot of really handy features with this lock. Um, so there it goes. Um, it was a super easy install. It, I think it looks, it looks really nice. Um, this is a nice looking lock. I like the, all the all the features on it. I like how this lights up when you push it. Um, you can lock it. You can then put in one of the admins. Unlock it, and it tells you which admin that was or which user number three. Close it. After ten seconds, it locks itself. You can switch that. There's some really good instructions in here on how to switch it to longer time. So there we go. Um, that's it. That's the functionality, demonstration, installation, all that jazz for this lock. I recommend it. Um, does a really good job. It's easy to use. Got a cool one touch button. Um, what else can I say? Looks like a nice handy lock. I'll probably, probably can use for years. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day out there. <gasps> okay, bye.